Hello everybody, welcome to the Blood Bowl 3 Season 2 Finals. We've got the Losers Bracket Round 1, the final game. Who will be the fourth person eliminated from the tournament? We've got Crystal Hunter with his Skaven here, up against Smilzo with his Lizardmen, and in the booth is Dimmy G. Hello! Hello everybody. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. And uh, so, look at the <laughs> lizard man. He's got six block here. He's got a apothecary, two rerolls, and twelve men. Starting with the chameleon skink to attempt to catch the ball with his uh, on the ball. Uh, Chunter, of course, has gone rats. He says this could be a swan song from Blood Bowl. So he's you know he's using he's using the skaven because that's what he's famous for. He's got a, a block and a wrestle gutter, a rookie gutter. A leader thrower that he starts, he always benches the leader thrower to maximize the chance of having him for the one turn. And uh, a tackle and a guard blitzer. There you go. Super interesting. What do you mean, swan song? He's, he's talking about giving up, you know, blood ball. Is he? Hmm. Nobody ever gives up. Yeah. Just when you thought you were out, mm. drags you back in. He is a gamer though, Chunter, you know, like, he, he really likes video games, so... He likes the old poker as well, doesn't he? Yeah, so, you know, he could, he could, he's one of the people who could potentially, you know, get himself out of there yeah. and replace, replace the Blood Bowl addiction with a different video game addiction, whereas a lot I of us that are, like, it... older have, have been into it for a long, old time, right? Yeah, I mean, you got, like, people like Poopock and stuff who won a couple of chalices who never played again, right? After they took the money out of chalice. Yeah. Uh, uh, who's, your, who's your mate? Um, you know, the streamer guy. Uh, I don't know. Lads, lads, banter. You know, oh, Lupac. Uh, that's it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he so got out. I mean. yeah. Yeah. See, but he got into it in Blood Bowl 2, right? Like, he got into it through the video game Blood Bowl 2. So, so yeah. guys like Lupa can get out. I, th I think Chunter got into it through the video game Blood Bowl 1. Yeah, I think people I think so. who get, get into it through the video game can get out of it through the video, like, be into other video games. But I think people like me, who got into it through the board game, don't get out of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically. Blood Bowl 3 quickly fixes the addiction. <laughs> I, I kind of hate having this split, right? It's encouraging gutters to come and hunt for your balls. And the last thing you want is gutter runners on your balls. And it's like, I hate this. Get them all mashed in around the Saurus, make it hard for them to come in. Yeah. This is splitting Any your team on purpose, I do not like. Yeah. He has got, he's, he's got the buddy system where you put the Saurus together to, so you can clear a Saurus, but unfortunately he's got the buddy system four miles away from the ball. <laughs> yes. Um, which is, I mean, it's, it, it's in theory, it's great. In uh, practicality, uh, there's some problems. Yeah, Junta's occupying that space directly between them and now all of a sudden if you roll some bad dice here as the lizards you know, oh my god absolute world of pain aren't you why didn't that roger kill someone <laughs> to be yeah, fair sure. for the uh, to be fair for the ra the skaven right they don't get any other option right if they want a big guy it has to be the roger so they get not a free pass but you know they get at least a bit of uh he does get to free dice this wrestle though with block. He does. Hello, Vimir. He's not going to 3D him though, because he's. Oh my god. I think he couldn't have made the cage one up and still got the uh, chameleon skink there. And also, yeah. um, he wouldn't want to like have it stuck in and stuff, would he? So. Yeah. But, I mean, could he not have blitzed with that? Right, so the, the Saurus on his right, of, with the guy that he blitzed with, could have been one square up, and then he could have 3D'd him, and then that Saurus that's blitzed could have then stepped into the square that the Saurus... Yeah, but what if he gets wrestled? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Mm. 
I mean, it's a 3D gym. I only ever roll triple pals. <laughs> yep. Uh, it's not going to be North, is it, Fymir? Because We know because they showed... The, well, there was that leak of the teams that were in the game, wasn't it? It was like Necro and, Necro and Woodies. Or left Woodies, game. yeah. And uh, I think Halflings or Goblins or both. I can't remember. But there's definitely Necro and, and Woodies. Or I mean, or Halflings or make or sense because they've got Halflings and they've got Trees, right? Yeah. Well, here we go. The Rogue is straight in. Everyone else oh, surrounded. Can you imagine that, though? Like, waiting three months... Four halflings, it just feels bad, man. Um, yeah, I think they package studies together, it seems. Seems like. Well, you, is, 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 this a, is this a reveal? Or is this no, it's not a reveal. Theory? No. Uh, it's just a theory. Sad. I sad. know nothing. Well, I knew that. But, you know. I am Mr. Zero Information. Oh. Yeah, exactly, baby. No, it'd have to be like a stunty season. It's going in right? there, okay. That's pretty nice. Okay. That's breed a tackle though. It's just a bit sad. It's a bit of a sacrifice. Yeah. You could always dodge off the skink Ooh. at the end to base the tackle, couldn't he? He doesn't. But uh, he could have. He could have. Uh, he could have just run up and and like base the tackle, or at least stand. Well, up I, I don't know. Like the problem is, give, you're just feeding him a skink, though. Yeah, that's the thing. yeah. Yeah, it's not great feeding him a skink. Yeah. Le Dublais. And the stun as well is pretty great. Mm. The, the problem is with halflings and stuff, Avox, is lots of people say they're hyped for it, and I'm not saying you're one of the ones that wouldn't then play them, but they're, they're like consistently the fewest like play, fewest played games that come from halflings and goblins. Yeah, like I mean, like, halflings them. are great for one game when you <laughs> when you're whatever like you just want to play some stupid blood bowl like like that's the joy of the stupid no pressure blood bowl right but then yeah. after one game you're like oh my god that was horrendous i'm never doing that again yeah I'd, I'd like and, a real and, team please <laughs> yeah until six months later when you forget and you're like do you know what i fancy playing halflings and then you play one game and you're like i'm never gonna do that again <laughs> and, then, and then just rinse and repeat that cycle yeah so that, like that's the thing so so on pure numbers, I feel like, you know, doing a, doing like say a stunty one where you get goblins and halflings in the same. Did you just follow that? You yeah, he did. Yeah, so you can replace with a skink. So yeah, that's fine. A skink couldn't really make it a, a, couldn't really make it a vengabus, so might as well just follow and replace the corner. See, I quite like the idea of like a, a stunty blood pass with like goblins and. Halflings and ogres, right? All three of them would be all right, wouldn't it? Yeah, but on the flip side of that is you're just gonna get dwarf mirrors for the three months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everyone is just going right. Yeah. They just released three packs of dunnies. I'm just gonna play dwarfs for three months. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But everyone's gonna have the same idea, so it's just gonna be dwarf mirrors for three yeah. months. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's better than having it for nine months, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. That's true, yeah. <laughs> Goblins come out. Woo! Three months of, yeah, of dwarf mirrors. Now. You might as well. I'll tell you what. If you're gonna take a boat from Blood Bowl, like that would be the year to do it, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah 100%. I, I'm really hoping for corn, really. Like, I think if they release corn, I might play BB3. Oh. There you go. You heard it first, cyanide people. <laughs> Ooh, I mean, corn, like, that corn makes sense, right? Because they're not, they're not OP. Like, they're far from OP. Mm. The ball is open. Will Chunter. One of the more fun teams, right? Uh, probably. I mean, they've got the best teams, haven't they? They've got Underworld. They've got yeah. They've got lizards for like tib, uh, like you know, Naf style, and they've got uh, Necro undead. Would be great. And what they don't want to do, so. they don't want to do Amazons. Amazons, yeah. That would be horrendous. I think. Well, he does roll all the dice. Chunter runs all oh, the way yeah. around, gets two dice with block, gets, gets him block. down. Catches it. So what's he got? He's got one guard, one tackle, and on then the he's got. And then block, wrestle, nothing on the gutters. Block, wrestle. It's, like, it's weird that he's not got a strip ball. Oh, he's got the leader for her. Yeah, he's just got a block and a wrestle. So this is 11.50 and he only gets 12 players. Yeah. Has he got the Apo? He's got an Apo though, right? Okay. 
So uh, theoretically, you could swap an Apo for a thirteenth player, right? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but you can Apo like gutter runners. I got, oh yeah, that's the problem. Isn't it? Yeah. Is this no? How many skills is that? And how many skills did they get? I think they only got six. I think they were tier one. Two on the gutters, oh. two on the things, Juggernaut and Leader. I think they've just got six. Oh, he's got the jugs on the Rogar. Oh, okay, yeah. sorry. Oh, Shadowing fails. Quite hard though, because oh, I'm thinking jugs Rogar. Like, would you go? Would you go a sidestep gutter runner potentially? Ah, uh, it's hard, isn't it? It's hard. I just wouldn't ever go Skaven because if I wanted to play a Skaven team, yeah, so I would make an Underworld team. Yeah, it's that's my true, yeah. It's my same argument against Orcs. Like, if I want to make an Orc team, I'll, I'll make I'd just play Lizards instead. Cause they're just better. I mean, I I get I get exactly why he does it, right? I get why he has the leader on the bench. But it, it, when you think about it, it's like that's like a hundred and five k TV that you just sit on the bench for yeah. like, and it's a, it's one skill and it's an eighty five k player, right? And it's and I guess he's got short hands. Well, I don't know. It's <laughs> I feel like you have to have the throw. I feel like you have to have the throw on rats because it is actually legitimately good. Like it's good for the short drive. Good for the one Good turn. One in, a, turn. In, a way, in a way, the fact that you've got match three though. Well, it's just more rerolls, isn't it? It's like you got the sure hands, and then you got the two plus passing with pass. It's like, mm. it's, and it's movement seven as well, which is incredible. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right, yeah. Yeah. Gets the full pal. Yeah, if, if Gutters could still pass on twos. You wouldn't take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But it just it just feels expensive to have 105k sat on the sideline. But maybe it's the correct way to play them. Like, I mean, I'm not going to question Crystal Hunter. Like, he obviously knows a lot more about it than I do. It's interesting, isn't it? It's because it's fragile, isn't it? That's the thing. So it's 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 so fragile, and you could just have. Well, the, you don't want to protect that. You got to protect it. You know, the lead yeah, and it's cheaper. It's cheaper in money than getting a reroll and a lineman, isn't it? So like you're paying eighty five to get a hundred, basically. So like, yeah, Von Ru, these were all played uh, like last weekend Are and they? stuff. Yeah, last last weekend. These all these games were last weekend. Um, so, but getting them all done now, so I can catch up with the YouTubes. Um, because of course last weekend I was on the official cast, glorious! Yeah, official, official. Official, very, very happy. Oh, look at that. Dice dead, Lord dead. Shunter. Dead, dead, dead. Huge, isn't it? A, a oh, mate, when cast. you start getting banged out by rats, like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, it's happened to me so many times. Like it's yeah. just, I'm getting flashbacks now, Jim. Yeah, this so, it's so annoying, isn't it? It's it's, it's like one so of the hard annoying. ones. It's one of the hard ones to like keep your head in because it's like because yeah. you know how important it is to bang out rats, and when they start banging you out, you just you can feel any kind of foothold in the game just slipping away. Just yeah. it's weird how it's so much more annoying than getting banged out by elves. Yeah, yeah, I think so, like as well. And you you'd probably expect it more from rats than you do from elves as well, right? Yeah. Maybe dark elves. You probably expect a bit of banging, but yeah, they're into that. It's always so frustrating. Fucking Skaven. <laughs> I guess it's because they've got like four good players, and you really just can't get at those four players if they're beating. The, and they're good at beating the shit out of you, aren't they? They're better at beating the shit out of you than elves are. So once yeah, they get the they snowball the broke, uh... running, it's it's gonna yeah, it's gonna it's gonna keep rolling, and you're gonna feel bad. Foul you and everything. Reserves for fouling. All sorts of things about rats. Yeah, that's that's what it is. Yeah, because the rats are good at the dealing damage. Oh god. So yeah, when bad, they start bad, getting bad. lucky, it's gonna pile up and get worse. Whereas at least if elves start getting lucky, the the tide could turn. I guess it feels less like that can happen. 
Uh, Games have felt very one-sided tonight, holy moly. Yeah. Yeah. I um, mean, you know, like, obviously a bit of a dicing to an extent, but also I didn't I didn't really like a lot of things that Smilzo did. Um, like, you know, protecting the ball and stuff, and, and then running forward with that, that hold for the assist. But, uh, you know, I still do think Chunt has definitely got the better dice, and... And, uh, yeah. He's used them. Oh boy, he's used them. He has used them, yeah, that's the thing, you know, like, Chunt has played well. And, uh, and got the, uh, you know, got the 1-0 up, and looks like he's about to get the 2-0. Because I think he will just go forward while he can. Mm. Blitz is in with the tackle. Green and he's for skinks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Absolute classic strat. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? That well, he's the, removed, uh, that's the thing, isn't it? He's removed a couple of Saurus, and it's all it's like, holy shit, I need my Saurus. So is it, and then it's just blitz the skin can tag the Saurus anyway. So yeah. it's just... Uh, yeah. He could have gone through, like, down the sideline as well, right? But by going there, he gets this extra 3 plus out as well, which is nice. Really nice. Clever guy, isn't he? Mm. The Rat Baron. Shadowing. Does nothing Absolutely again. Terrible. <laughs> it's so bad now, isn't it? It's worse than it used to be, and it wasn't good. It's like a straight six plus, isn't it? More or less, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty rubbish. Hello, cobblestone. Hello, double skulls. Hello, mine is the pink. A good ratting, yeah, yeah. Good rattings are really very annoying. Ugh. No, I don't think I've seen Shadowing work in Blood Bowl 3 either. It's, it's oh, really? really? Yeah. <laughs> it's really like, rubbish. <coughs> it pops up. Like, I always forget that I've got it on Fumble because I don't mark it. And then like, it pops up and I always click it. And it never works <laughs> until I don't actually want a shadow. <laughs> 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 and, then it's, and then it will work because I'm... I just kick it to just get rid of the box. <laughs> it's just like, oh my god. The funny thing is, uh, shadowing, you know, has got worse on gut runners and stuff, but it's actually got better on tree men. So there you go. You can you can give you can have yourself a, a shadowing tree man. Yeah, it's an idea. I had a kick, uh, kick dauntless tree man. No. Random skills. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dauntless not quite so good, but. But genuinely, a shadowing well, tree is, man kick is like also that. terrible because the tree is always on the LOS, right? It's just, it doesn't it's, have to be. Well, yeah. <laughs> he actually doesn't have to be. Uh, you know, people have played him not on the LOS. So, uh, oh, well, there's another cast. Dead, dead, dead. Jesus. Does shadowing work if you root it? Uh, no, because it would be like a voluntary move. So no, it'd be it would it would still be terrible. <laughs> but at least it would work on a six. The way that you know it'd be it, which is pretty much the only way shadowing on on movement seven works. <laughs> so so movement on t on on two movement is much better than it used to be, and move shadowing on move nine is infinitely worse than it used to be. Wow, so there you go. Easy touchdown for Chunter. Uh, and now Smilzo, I mean, it's basically over, isn't it? Don't say it's over, but he's down two Skinks, down two Saurus, and uh, he's just trying to avoid the 3-0, I guess. I mean, not really, right? He's got to think, I can I can do this. Positivity, isn't it? Positive mental attitude, visualise, actualise, um, and the rest of it. So, you know, maybe he just, maybe GFI's handoffs to one of these Skinks and uh, tries to get down, instantly score, 2-1. Hope he gets the uh, other source in, and you know, hope he can get lucky and do something. That's the, that's the sad thing about playing rats, though, is you can't even just like bonehead sideline cage. <laughs> 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 no, it's just like he's, he's probably going to do it anyway. That I said that. Yeah. yeah, he's got this little cage, doesn't he? But Chunt is just going to uphill him. Of, of all the people, Chunt is just oh, going to up. Does up he even want to uphill him, or does he just free two through? Oh, it's the uh, oh uphill the crocs. You mean yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, go pill the crocs. Yeah, I'll pill the crocs. And that. Well, you have to because the, the tail in it. Yeah, yeah, it's way better. Than up, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's not even up, up hill, is it? It's a one day. Uh, no, no, it's no, not. It's not. He's not. He's not. He's, uh... Oh my god! Oh, juggernaut. Juggernaut. Yeah. He's gonna get in front of the 
Front of the ball with a tail. Interesting. Oh, and then put tackle the tackle on. That's the really on nice. And there we go. Get him. And the, uh, is that an armor break? It is actually an armor break. Yeah. He's in a bit wow. of a pickle. Imagine seeing a cutscene with an armor break. Wow. <laughs> Oh, uphills the roger. He could have served his own skink there. Surprised he didn't he's got, bother. <laughs> he's got a uh, two dodge off tackle now for the score. Three. Oh no, he can go back, can he? One, two, three, yeah. four, five, six, seven, eight, G F I G A can go there. Oh did he just turn over? He what? just turned over. What? Wait, what? What? He powered him there. And then just ended the... Did he run out of time? He must have run out of time, yeah. He must have run out of time, yeah. Oh, and he's really <laughs> run out of time now. <laughs> yeah. Flip me. What an absolute pounding. Yeah, brutal. Does the 1D for the Le Double surf? Potential double surf, obviously, because the power. And uh, yeah, this is looking like 3 0. Brutal. I mean, brutal, brutal dice. Yeah. For Smills or. And uh, Artemis said he played well. I mean, which is. In you know in the play in, in this the game no, oh in, in the, in the play right, yeah, yeah. which is which is unbel I mean that's unheard of uh, praise from Artemis Black isn't it but uh, <laughs> but then I don't think he played that well versus Hiru he, he put his Crocs over at the side instead of the yellow so I kind of hated that I didn't like how he advanced and stuff there's a lot of things that I I don't you know I don't think he got good dice against Hiru don't get me wrong but also a lot of his play I didn't like and then uh, this one. Oh my god! It's been a bit of a it's been a bit of a dicing, hasn't it? Honestly, like but yeah. You know, still, Chunt has played well, and he's he's done the business. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing, isn't it? So, like, it's <clears throat> it, like rat teams can just explode, and when they don't explode, they cause a lot of problems, right? It's, uh... The tackle coming up when the other guy has dodge. <laughs> it's really <laughs> stupid, isn't it? <laughs> well, no, sorry, the dodge coming up when the other guy has tackle. I just said completely the wrong thing then, didn't I? Yes. The, do you want to use dodge when they've got tackle and it doesn't matter anyway? Stupid. Stupid. Ugh. Mm. Oh. Well, Let me well, up, mate. Well. Sorry. The Sorry. Res Baron. Yeah. The Res Baron. Wow. Because yeah, it's Res, isn't it? He's not. So he's not the Rat Baron. He's the Res Baron. Oh, that's uh. Super interesting. Yeah. They could choose to not tackle, but then of course, if they choose to not tackle, then you choose to not dodge. Like. Do you know what I mean? Like, the, 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 the not choosing tackle is pointless. It's just like... you got to play for the misclicks. It's, yeah, it's just playing for misclicks or rampant stupidity. So... Oh, <laughs> yeah, look, look. He set up for the one turn and then he got a vicious reft into stun Sora, so he couldn't even... He didn't even get to play a one turn. Oh, diced. And weirdly, he's, he actually looked like he set up for the one turn competently as well. <laughs> 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 Which just goes to show, like, it's like you do all that study, all that practice, and you get absolutely ruined. Oh, diced. Well, there you go. You know, uh, commiserations to Smills, obviously. It sucks for, sucks for the four guys going 0-2 and gone. Um, but congrats to Chunter, obviously a, a fan favourite. And uh, congrats to him. Thanks very much, Dimmy. Glorious having you in the booth. Thanks, Jimmy. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.